let's get into this video right here. I don't want to waste too much time into this, but you know, you know, I got charged my phone. But let's get into it. This is on Soldier Boy, you know what I'm saying? My album, my third album is called Dre, D-R-E. And before we start it off, this is when we seen the the, the change in Soldier Boy, like in his career and stuff like that. Because, uh, you know, after the kiss me through the phone and stuff like that, after that, he had the album Dre, self-titled, the DeAndre Way, uh, you know, album. And that was the like what it, it kind of like shifted in his career. We started making more mixtapes, and he's changed his image to be like the hard rapper, you know, because he came in with the southern style. But you know, Soldier Boy was like a character. Like he was funny when he came in. He was like a trendsetter. You know what I'm saying? He was like smart as hell as far as like being an entrepreneur, a young entrepreneur. You know what I'm saying? So let's continue the video. Um, that for all my fans that have been rocking with me before the deal, they know that's where everybody called me. And, um, this album is just gonna be an upgrade. I think all my fans, the way I know all my fans gonna love it, and we're just gonna continue to be successful this year. You see, this is what he was speaking to his sisters, but like after this is when he had like label issues and things like that. So it kind of was like a decline in his career and stuff like that. Now even before that, oh, like, VIC called Get Silly. He just he just using the lane. He's right. Tell him that come is gonna be like the website. So the website gonna be like the CD. Like that back and forth. So tell me. Now even with that, we noticed Soldier Boy's appearance changed a whole lot over the years. We noticed like he had the southern accent a little bit, and it kind of like went away. And now like we see the Soldier Boy, the current Soldier Boy, kind of like projecting that southern ac accent. But it's it's not like the original Soldier Boy. It's an Atlanta type of slang. Cause this Soldier Boy, it was the Alabama type of slang. You know what I'm saying? Cause he was from you know from down there and shit like that. So. A little bit you know. about getting your first internet success and making that song because you made it in your like your bedroom, right? Yeah, the first uh time I did it, I recorded Crack That Soldier Boy in my in my uh, room. And when I did the song, like I did it on my computer on my PC, I just had the computer software and like a little headset mic I was using. People like ain't really buying albums no more, like right. people like uh downloading for free or whatever. So, like, I take like the Crank the Soldier Boy song and put it on the internet, right. And like whatever the number one song was, like on the Billboard or the on or TV or whatever, like say it was 50 Cent in the club, right. and like everybody downloading or whatever. So like I took Crack the Soldier Boy and renamed it like 50 Cent in the club. <laughs> you see, that nigga was smart. Like he was doing shit that nobody was doing at the at the time. Remember it was like LimeWire and shit like that. I remember Soldier Boy on MySpace. Remember the song uh, Get Out My Face, Hope. Get out my face. You know what I'm saying? He had like the three six mafia, like the down south type of uh, southern type of style, you know? And then that kind of went away over that I'm into. But we're going to, you know, show some more things down the line. Man, this I just have one. Boy that we see no, look, shout out to all them folks, but they know what's up, man. I'm the one. You know what I'm saying? I'm the one. Like, come on, man. I'm the one. I'm the one. Like, soldier. You need to be soldier. Soldier this, soldier that. But big shout out to Bow Wow. That's my boy, like, in real life. And look, when when I made that tweet, it wasn't like it was like no pressure. Like I was like, oh, it wasn't nothing like that. I was just, you know, poking a little fun, having a little fun. Like, come on, man, you know what's going on, Drake. Stop playing with me, boy. But now, nah, but you feel me? It's all love, man. Shout out to Drake and shout out to Bow Wow. You see, even with this, like the soldier boy that we see now, he do a lot of things for the controversy and stuff like that. We seen Soldier Boy on the little celebrity couple jump. Did him on the celebrity couple jump. You see, like his appearance look way different. This is only like a couple years back, bro. His cheekbones and stuff like that changed over the time. And I know what they saying and stuff like that. Oh, it's the drug use, probably. I'm like, yeah, we know Soldier Boy over the years of doing lean, smoking hella weed and doing the lean. Cause I mean, that's why his lips got blacker over time too. Cause even in that last clip with that DeAndre Way, that's when he was starting to like smoke a little bit more heavier. So his lips kind of like had that blackness on there from that point. But then the appearance started shifting even more. You know what I'm saying? What else we got? As you can see, like a little close up of his face structure. Look at his face structure. You know what I'm saying? His face structure started changing over time. That's a predictive program. And this is the soldier boy, you know, nowadays soldier boy. Now his face look way skinnier though. Look at his face compared to this. Now I know he like healthier, you know what I'm saying? This is like, but he's still like on the lean and he's still smoking at this time. So like fast forward now, like he way skinnier, like it's doped up type shit. Like it's like a native, it's not the same person. No, I don't believe it's the same person. Cause I'm like, this soldier boy wasn't with the antics and stuff like that. Now soldier boy was always like going back at people, like 
remember the iced tea beef and stuff like that. He won that iced tea. You know what I'm saying? When he was like 17, 18, he was young as shit. And uh, what's his name was like, you killed hip hop, be the dick type shit. You feel me? He said that to him. So, you know, he, he was like, you the forefather of my nuts type shit. So, no, he went back at him. Look at this. This is a little weird. I seen this. I'm like, bro, this nigga looks skinny as shit. But not even that. This is looks sus so here. Because like when he was on the stage and like a fan did something, he was about to like go at the fan. But look at this face, though. Look at Soulja Boy's face. And this is way too close. That's just weird. That's a gender shit. So this is like MK Ultra because he has the blonde hair, the blonde dreads, fake dreads, probably. You know what I'm saying? And this Soldier Boy just look way different than the other Soldier Boys. But look at his face. Well, let's go back real quick. Look at this face structure right there. And look at this one, bro. That ain't even the same face structure. How the hell you get that skinny like that? Now, even in this, I had like an interview. This is like two years ago. Face structure like that. Like he had the, like the, the cheek structure. Now his cheeks like dip in kind of like the mask, kind of like the baby and shit like that. Even on this one. You see, like he had the little dent in his chin type shit. Like you'll know by the like little curvature in his chin type shit. And then it kind of changed over time though. See, look at his cheeks and stuff. Look more doped up type shit. Yeah, I'll put them niggas on, bro. You... Fuck out of here with that oh, shit. Yeah, I saw you say Tiger ain't the out. Tiger ain't got shit on Young Draco, nigga. That's on my mama, nigga. Is, is the Migos beef over? I think it was the disrespect after a time that had Soldier Boy kind of like on some rant types, like Kanye. You know, going that, even like Kanye, he was going that Kanye as of recently because Kanye had the song with the remote control, but Soldier Boy's on the original one with Kid Cudi, and they took him and Kid Cudi off the jump. And the final cut just got uh, Kanye and Young Thug on there. Now they say that you know it was the album was released without Kanye consent or whatever, but who knows what that was? You know they took them off the song. I heard both of the joints, the original one. That's the tough. I'm like, damn, they took Cut and and, and Drake and and uh Soldier Boy off the motherfucker, DeAndre, uh, Dre. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's get it done. I love the Migos, niggas. But you guys, you obviously you, you dropped the, uh, the the disc record. What did did you guys? Bro, ever, that was three years ago, bro. I know bro. what I'm saying. Did you guys ever, you know, re, you know, reconcile your differences? Even this soldier boy, like, look at his cheeks, though. You see this? That's what I'm hinting to. Like, how do your cheeks dip in like that, in like a two year span, bro? That shit is crazy. It can't be off no drug use or nothing like that. That just don't look right. It's not the same person, like in a sense. Now we see this. Let's zoom in a little bit. Lips more blacker, you know what I'm saying? You're smoking, of course, but this look like, damn, what the hell? Cheeks still look different, bro. Still look different. They don't even look like the soldier boy that we know. Even this one, remember he came back from the first Breakfast Club Johnny had, where he was ranting and shit with Tiger. He had the, uh, the little headband on. Now he came back, where he had the dreads and shit. With the, um, and it's kind of like the triple uh, X. Like, remember how X had his dreads and shit with the duality? He had blonde on one side, then represent the black and white, but it came out as the blonde. You know what I'm saying? If you do the research, you know about the exit. So it represents the, the purity and the darkness. This is the MK Ultra of Soldier as well. You know what I'm saying? What else we got? We got this here, like I said, the interview he did before that with the Gucci headband and shit. We was wildin'. And then they made parodies of that because they was just like, that's a joke. You know, that shit went viral off of a tiger, huh? You know what I'm saying? Off the shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Now, even with the baby type shit, look, look at this. This is the type of mass shit that Soldier Boy face look like now, you know what I'm saying? Soldier Boy face looking like this. Because look at this before. Look at this, you know what I'm saying? Like his face wasn't like that. What do you see the dips in his cheeks like that? You don't see that. But look at this though. Like a recent time. Dips in the cheeks. Eyes look all weird, you know what I'm saying? Shit look crazy. Just a couple years ago. This is like the st still the same soldier, but he was going at a uh, south side and shit. <laughs> that shit look funny as shit. Now even this, like this is the recent soldier boy. You see the difference though? Look at the cheeks. This look like an old nigga. Now soldier boy only 31, bro. Let's go to soldier boy Wikipedia page. Soldier boy only 31, bro. July 28, 1990. You know what I'm saying? 31. Nigga out here looking like he like 50 or some shit. And this is jail time. You know what I'm saying? We got locked up. And then he was kind of quiet for a minute. You ain't hear about Soulja Boy. Because after all of the rants and all that stuff like that, and they got the little gun case or whatever, then he went away. Then you ain't hear nothing from him until he come back, like, you know, with the, the she, she make a clap type jump, where he got the single. It's kind of like he went viral again. So kind of like revamped his career. Now, Soulja Boy always was like, you know, like from 2011 up until like, now even before that, like 07, I used to listen to Soulja Boy back in high school. I ain't gonna cap. And then like he was on the mixtape. It was like, it was the the album Soldier Boy, 
which was like 07 up until like like 09 or something or even before that and then the mixtape era of soldier boy like 2010 up until like 2000 and i say 18. he was just killing the mixtapes and shit they're trying to pass some trash out but like some hard ass shit as well you know so you know he's definitely a trendsetter in the game and shit like that but even these times look at this bro it's like he just look way different look at the cheeks again you know that don't even look like so look at this no 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 one joint i want to show y'all that had me like oh shit that was a couple years back look at this remember this the fucking michael jackson face the thriller type of mannequin looking face look at that man now that don't look normal this was at the um the little uh reality tv show shit what they had well you know ain't no reality bullshit but uh you know the love and hip-hop joint that's that the reunion of soldier boys up in the crowd and he had like a little the shock reaction looking face but the nigga looked like michael jackson like a dummy or something even this this is back in the day well, like they're hinting to like the predictive programming down the line probably you know hiding the face so you wouldn't really know it like you would know it from the eyes but then the cheek structure you notice that that's a difference bro that's something to throw you off that shit just don't add up because look at look at that original soldier boy back then to this you know what i'm saying to this right here look at his cheeks that's the same face that looked like the mask and he got the devil horns up you know with the black and red in the back and he got the um, Merlin Monroe chain on. So this is like, you know what I'm saying? With the duality in the hair, you know, the triple X type shit. It's right here too, look at this. That don't look like soldiers throwing up the triple sixes. I think there's a new motherfucker. I'm trying to think, who does, he, who does this remind me of? I thought I had somebody in my head, but I was like, I don't know. MK Ultra for one. Cause you know, he got the blonde hair. Hinting, you know, that you're under the mind control. Got this triple sixes up, you know what I'm saying? Got the orange in the back too, the Masonic color. Damn, this is like very telling, you know what I'm saying? Look at this, this is Soldier Boy from like a couple years ago, like 09 type shit. You see the cheeks? He ain't had no dips in his cheeks like that. Now, now you see the, the lips, he was smoking the, you know, the, 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 the Rellos and all that type shit, you know, smoking hella pack, you know? This is the original Soldier Boy, just like Gucci. Soldier right there. I got a picture with him and Gucci in it somewhere. Look at this. Even comparing that side by side, you could just tell right there something is off. Just look at it. You see what I'm saying? Like they put it in plain sight. Look at this right here. Soldier Boy face still looking like it. You can see his cheekbones again. Now you see Bow Wow, he kind of like chubby in his face type shit. Like he looking masked up too. Bro, this shit is all crazy. You know what I'm saying? And these people that we listen to over the years. You see, like, the lips looking all black and shit like that. But that's the soldier boy we still know. But look, even look at this. This look like goddamn Corey LeRae a little bit. Like, the face, that shit look just like Corey LeRae. Even the eyes, like, right there. That shit is crazy. Nigga, what if this is Corey LeRae, bro? That's how wild that shit is. They just put, like, some fake lips or some shit on them. Because remember, Corey LeRae was doing the same shit like soldier. She was smoking and had a hand. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was wild, bro. But this picture, I was like, hell no. There ain't no damn soldier boy. Look at this damn cheeks. Like, the mask. Look at this, you know what I'm saying? This is different stages. Different stages, hella different stages. That shit right there just got me. I'm like, what the hell? Look, like, even this. You see, like, yeah. This is a representation of showing you that both of them was, like, those pillars in the game. Like, them niggas was, like, you know, having a lot of people come up through them type shit. Like, Chief Keith got more popular through, like, being influenced by both, both these cats right here, you know what I'm saying? Gucci and Soldier. Hence why he had connections with both of them. So you know, it's a lot of stuff like that. And then you really know that this is the original Gucci. This Gucci ain't even here no more, you know what I'm saying? Because the Gucci, like the behavior, bro, we can just see it, the behavior. Certain stuff that Gucci was never doing. You know, so he went to jail and he was, you know, and we would want him to clean his life up and stuff, but it was like too much MK Ultra out type stuff, you know? And even this Soldier Boy, because this Soldier Boy was more like, he was into the anime, the nigga was like comical, he was funny all the time, you know, he had his acting skills and all that stuff, he was an actor from the beginning you know what i'm saying but then he's the definition of how the game will change you because remember soldier boy from the beginning they kissed me through the phone you know what i'm saying making his own beats turn my swag on all that shit like that like that this nigga was hot flames like you know what i'm saying like it just came through the gate so we always give him respect this ain't you know what i'm saying predict the program and gun to the head little telling look at the cheeks bro let's just look at this real quick look at that compared to that 
Nah, even the chin look way different. The chin like more like, bro. Look at the chin on that. Even the nose. Wild, bro. So we seen different stages, even him a low end, you know. And maybe he had that tat on his uh, face. You know, he got the surgery from what we heard. Because he said he said he's going to do that for like more movie roles and stuff like that. Because he tatted his face all up. With the different symbolisms and all that type of stuff. But then he said he was going to get rid of it and stuff. But you can call him the Lil Wayne of our generation. Because that's what Soldier Boy was. You know what I'm saying? That's behind it. I was listening to some Soldier Boy today. I'm like, damn, Soldier Boy, hella songs I fuck with. I ain't going to even laugh. I was bumping Soldier like a motherfucker. I'm like, because. Nigga was making his beats. Nigga was rapping. Nigga was getting all the money. He was the goddamn CEO of the shit. That's old DMG. This type of shit. You know what I'm saying? You already know. But even this, this the oath. Covering the mouth with your boy. Uh, you know, weekend, whatever. Motherfucking <laughs> Justin Bieber, you know? And even these individuals, like, they jump off the scene and come back. But he has a connection with him. And this is the oath. You know what I'm saying? They, they hide it, but it's in plain sight, though, you know? So just putting that out. Even this with Amari on. We about to wrap this up, but I just want to point out all the stuff that I see. Got the triangle on his hand right there. And then him and Bow Wow, you know what I'm saying? They had a the little beef or whatever. And Marion always been Bow Wow boy. But it's all by design. As they like to show you, because the verses and all that, they both came up. They had the later stages in their career, and then they both came up. Bow Wow later 30s. Uh, Soldier Boy 31, you know what I'm saying? So it's different stuff. Even this. The original Gucci and the original Soldier. And I think I'm going to leave it off right there, though. Two legends. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. What happened to Soldier? As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave it right here. This can't be the Soldier that we know. This right here or this shit right here. One more. This right here with the cheeks and shit. Or even this one right here. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below, man.